here we go. Hello friend, this is the next casting we want to do for the CNC machine. It's way bigger than all the others we've done. To that end we've got this new crucible that's an 18 kilogram one that's quite a lot bigger than our old one. The tongs we use for the old one are nowhere near big enough unfortunately for this one. So we're going to come up with a whole new design of locking on tongs Hopefully one that Sam and I can use together to lift this out of the crucible and then we also need a separate pouring tongs to pour the aluminium. <laughs> Let's see what we come up with. The design of these tongs really did evolve out of the junk pile. Here, for example, we have some scrap pipe and an old shaft. I thought one would rotate inside the other nicely, but not so. Uh, it took quite a while trying to work out which one was bent, and in the end it turned out to be both. A semi-ridiculous amount of lathe time later and some bending and fettling, and I've got that rotating inside the tube and just welded a handle on there and now I'm going to modify that outside tube it could have been neater but that'll do in the scraps pile we found these crooked bits of rusty flat bar. I bent them round some old cast iron pulleys I had using a lot of force and some leverage. They're roughly the right size for the crucible. I still really love our old steampunk style power hacksaw but lately I've been really enjoying using the saw there. It's just so quick and doesn't leave much burrs to grind off. I guess that's less relevant here anyway, where we've got to flap disc the heck out of the ends so they become rust free for welding anyway. Let's say it's about there. Well, that was all quite loud. So with the handle in the closed position, which is going to be there, I think I want to just weld on a piece to the inner bit. So this is it, I won't be able to take this in and out again. Well, after singing the praises of this metal cutting circular saw, it's surprising what you come across in the scraps bin. It just wasn't cutting through this very well. The blades are quite expensive, so I didn't really want to push it. So it's back to the angle grinder and a flat disc just to tidy up the ends. Now in terms of having a handle that we can both remove or thread in so that this can be used with one or two people, I feel like we hit the scrap pot here with these threaded pipes and fittings. It's open, goes in, closed. I think that's going to work for taking the crucible out of the furnace. Now we just need some way of pouring it. I've used a sort of loop tool in the past like so and that's always worked quite well even if I have used it in a misguided way. So let's have a look at making something like that. It would be nice to have some kind of ring roller, but this hoop, just like all the other curvy bits of metal in this project, was made by wrapping around a certain size cast iron pulley. 
it worked surprisingly well, but the new crucible is not actually perfectly circular, which was why I was adjusting with the vice there. The hoop is attached to yet another bit of scrap pipe, which has this little bit of scrap sheet metal handguard thing on that hopefully will stop my gloves overheating quite so much next to a massive pool of very hot aluminium. Alright, let's try it. Oh, it's going to be heavy when it's full of aluminium. Locking on. Locks in place. This is the hard bit. I don't think I'd want to do it quite that fast with molten aluminium in it. Unlock. <laughs> the lock that keeps the jaws tightly around the crucible is simply a nail put through the T-handle and locked onto the handle below it. I made a fancy snap ring thing that would tie to the handle and therefore not get lost, but I swiftly put it somewhere safe and lost it. So this random nail is doing the job for now, which is also why Sam insists on keeping it. Right, well, I'm so confident of these crucible tongs, I told Sam that we should do the pouring in sand doors. She, she called me a scamp. Anyway, if you're keen to see these Frankenstein things in action with molten metal, then I'll put a link to that adventure here as soon as it's done. Apart from that, peace and love. Thanks for watching.